Hello, Professor Bright here, and we are back in the Sunless Skies Early Access because things have changed. We now have access to Albion, the Empire's beating heart within the High Wilderness, and I'm very curious what exactly that looks like. There's also been some additions between then and now, such as, uh, well, we can upgrade locomotives. Apparently there's a new one available as well. There are these things called agents, which I think might be the same thing as my officers, but perhaps not. I'm curious about that. And these spectacles and discoveries. Hmm, I have questions. Uh, specifically, what actually differentiates the two. So we'll be exploring all that. In addition, I'm told that there's trade now, so we might actually be able to survive in the high wilderness, which will be great. We could, in theory, go back to this shadowed stranger, but I did find that besides having to choose between Legacy and Merciful, which we'll go with Merciful because we are just sort of early on, just taking a glance, a little nip at the new content, not fully exploring it. More importantly, as I was saying before I got distracted, we can create our captain now, which I mean, come now, of course we must. Who were you? Today London lies between the stars, her new empire unfolds across the heavens, but ten years ago, before the northern gate was opened, before the enduring empress led her people into the skies, it lay in a vast cavern far beneath the earth, deep, dark, marvelous. Who were you then? Hmm, <clears throat> a street urchin. Could entertain such thoughts, although this has my eyes right now. Then again, this is interesting, a soldier who became a veteran of the blockade of New Winchester where a ragtag coalition of colonists imprisoned the Imperial Governor and declared independence. I'm kind of curious how that would affect things. Like, which side would I be on, the stovepipes or the tackities? Do hope I got the name for the loyalists and the rebels, respectively, correct? But, uh, well, it's been a, it's been a little bit of a while. Not that long between episodes, but a fair amount. Regardless, we're obviously going to progress as an academic. I mean... Here's the thing, my name is Professor Bright, not Captain Bright, not Street Urchin Bright, and certainly not Poet Bright. Oh, first I'm going to choose a making. A making? Mm, very well. You are an academic. Perhaps you were educated at one of the esteemed colleges of Benthic or Somerset. Perhaps you taught yourself through trial and error and grit. But what was your field of study? Oh. Well, literature doesn't hold much interest to me. Once the most indulgent of studies, now the most seditious. The Ministry of Public Decency has gutted the libraries, and while that's sad and all, I'm not, uh, not too rebellious, I suppose is the word. I'm curious about London, not quite in a position to rebel against them. The practical sciences, though, that's more my style. Engineering, chemistry, anatomy, everything you need to break down... <clears throat> to break something apart and put it back together again. But then there's the language of the heavens. They call it the correspondence. The oldest of alphabets, it's maddening, revelatory, and occasionally inflammatory. Hmm, a little bit of a spoiler for uh, anybody who's still playing Fallen London, well, starting Fallen London. I think you get introduced to the correspondence fairly quickly. But yes, I think I must. If this affects later options, I mean, this is the one to go with. I'm kind of more inclined towards iron than hearts, but, well, I will endure. Oh, as for ambitions, we can only choose one, so that's an easy choice. You want a comfortable retirement, and by comfortable you mean extravagant. A fine house, servants, land, security. Would be nice. Ooh, archivist gun. I kind of like that, actually, in terms of names. What other terms of address are there? Ooh, could be Professor. I could just be Professor Bright. Make it real easy. But I kind of like that, actually. Archivist Gun. What other names we got? Clark? Ah. Well, there we are. Archivist Clark. I like it. It's a good name. Ooh, could be a clay man. Whatever happened to the Claymen, actually? Because they were produced down in uh, Fallen London, in the Neath. So, what happened to them afterwards? It's been ten years. 
They might still be their servile selves, but... Hmm. I'm curious about that. Let's see what else we got here, though. Ooh. Why aren't you just about perfect? Like the little nose, the little hair, the scraggly. And I kind of like the scarf, too. So we're going with it. You were an academic. Perhaps you were educated at one of the esteemed colleges of Benthic or Somerset. Um, I feel like this is out of place, actually. Perhaps you taught yourself through trial and error and grit. But what was your field of study? The nothing, apparently. Since London moved to the stars, understanding the celestial tongues has gone from a reckless indulgence to an urgent necessity. The risks, however, madness and combustion, are substantial. Unfortunate that, but we survive. The skies are strewn with the currencies of heaven. Many have made their fortunes out among the stars. Many more have failed, broken and lost in the drifting night. Will you be different? Eh, possibly. Let's start the game. Let's see how the game starts. Oh. Well, yes, the usual disclaimer, Sunless Skies is in a preliminary stage of early access. A little bit late in early access now, I suppose, but, well, that's neither here nor there. Except a disbursement of funds. Always like more money. And we don't need to read all this. A little bit of, um, tutorial and some decent writing, but... Well, I know what I'm doing more or less. Although, they did make a change to heat, as I recall. There was something about that. Let's see. Okay, that's actually a fairly effective warning that I've got heat built up. Okay. If I do nothing, nothing happens. What if I do something, though? Can I keep firing while my heat's at max? It looks like I can, but it damages me. Okay. Good to know. Uh, keep going. Uh... Let's see what's available here. Come, come. Place to go, things to do. Would be nice to get more fuel. Oh, you're in a different location than normal? Huh. Well, fair enough. Usually it was to the southeast of the spawning point. Although, perhaps that was randomized and I just got very lucky those few times. I mean, the one time, of course, I've... Not lost captains before? Ha 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 ha. Hee hee. I lie, but it's fine, really. It's fine. It's all good. I'm sure this captain will live a long and healthy life. Ooh, we actually have room for stuff now. I remember hold being extremely limited before. Alright. I'm glad they made that change. Let's see here. Wolvesy Station. You see, now this is a good opportunity. The thing is, though, I kind of want to just explore Albion, so I think I'm going to leave this be. You understand. Um. Hmm. What point are riches without an abode in which to enjoy them? Good point. I'm curious, though. What exactly do I need? Just a captivating treasure, unlicensed charts? Ministry stamped permits and ten bronze woods. Okay, that'll be a thing. And twenty-five thousand sovereigns. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Though I might be, you know, surprised. Ah, victory hole. The Tacities they were. Okay, these are the people who resisted the empire. Well, declared independence from the empire. I suppose. And then the Windward Company, which is the East India Company, except in the sky. It's fine. I, I'm positive your names were stovepipes or stove hats. Not sure. Not going to worry about it right now. I'm probably not going to work for you guys, honestly, because, I mean, just look. Look. The options. Ah, so much better. So much more stylish. Regardless, though, um... Hmm. Locomotives... Yeah, sorry. Locomotive captains gather at the bazaar to trade goods and information. Here you can acquire prospects, opportunities to sell a good at a distant port for an excellent price. Accept a prospect to claim it, source the goods, and deliver them. I mean, that's not bad. I just need three sacks of verdant seeds, and I get 
240 sovereigns altogether? <gasps> Ooh. An opportunity for fearless captain, Sweet Jane's Counting House on Lustrum, requires five crates of munitions. Here's the thing, though. I don't know where any of these places are, so I'm going to leave that be for now. Let's see what else has changed. The labor exchange is still the labor exchange. You look like you have new items. Interesting. Ooh, I can get new scouts, this implies. Interesting. And what are you? Butchery, a slaughterhouse equipped with machinery allowing you to butcher and can certain sky beasts, converting them into supplies. Oh, do I need equipment to do that now? Ooh, there's mining. I always like a little bit of mining, but does that mean I need to actually equip these in order to do that? Because that's... I mean, it's not too bad. It's only 400 sovereigns, so it's not too terrible, but... Hmm. We'll see how freely we can gain more sovereigns later. Now this, I'm, uh... Hmm. I'm just looking at these like, ooh, I want them all. Especially this one on account of it just being the best. Also, Built by Hell, as I recall, the Moloch class. At least I think that was in the little Kickstarter thing. Detailing them. Nice designs. I actually really like these. Again, partial to the Moloch for style, but... Yeah, they all look kind of neat. And they're definitely better than what I have, so... Well, there's that. Although you don't seem to have as much... Hold space. Or... Wow, okay. Yeah, you actually probably not the best choice. At least not for me. Say minus 20? Plus 20 changed to armor if you trade in the locomotive. Okay. Well, regardless. That having been explored, let's go elsewhere. Actually, if we're going to be doing this, maybe more fuel is in order. You know what? Yeah, that does seem like a good idea. Hi, we'll take... One crate of supplies and all your fuel. Thank you. Now we can actually feed the bat so we can go out and find me things. Although I can't recall its range, so that'll be an issue. Ah, well. Gain ourselves some experience, maybe get a level up beforehand, see some new stories there. Or old stories, I'm fine with either of them. I want to be a little more capable if I can be. And I'm assuming these are spots for my officers or agents whichever see here's the thing i don't know if the agents are a new thing or if they are just another name for officers i assume they are new but i can't verify that at the moment not now anyway well come on little bat let's find us stuff ah well it's in the direction of albion i assume I assume I can just quickly make the transition between Albion and the Reach. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe I need to find something? Ah, we'll find out when we get there. Right now, let's just get to a port, see if anything's changed, and worst case scenario, we'll have a port report to turn in if, you know, things go south. Which they very well might. Hopefully won't, but might. Hmm, I feel like if I could mine, that would be a very useful thing. Ah, oh well. Unimportant at the moment. I do like the changes they've made to heat, though. Just having this little warning thing, it just makes everything so much simpler. Okay. Ah, this port. Yes. See, I don't recall the names, but I do recall the locations. Ruins claw the sky, the works of giants. Yes, yes. Come, come. We have places to be, things to see. I really just want to grab a port report, actually, but, uh... Well, nope, stop. The nowhere in, that's nice. Get... Eh. Eh. Behold, a ruin of giants. Gargantuan blocks of jigsaw together, furred with moss and whispering with orchards. A bucolic village nestles amongst them. Smoke coils daintily from the chimneys, Leisurely game of cricket unfolds on the village green. A ramshackle dock juts into the sky beside a farmyard scattered with rusty locomotive parts, plating piping a chuggy motor with its innards exposed. Neat. 
An oily-faced, black-haired girl waves your locomotive into position. Welcome to Port Avon, she calls as you disembark. A rich knot of scents greets you, leaves and wood smoke, enriched by an infrequent but pungent intrusion of goat. We'll write ourselves our port report. Gonna mostly skip this stuff because we've seen it before, you see. I know, I know, they'll stop welcoming me eventually. Uh, before we go, though... Hello. This is new. At least I believe it is, because I seem to recall us going through... Well, how to describe it properly. I seem to remember us going through this menu and exploring things, but I see here I can just go to the Cyclopean Ruins. Interesting. What palace was this? What giant king made his home here? And why did he abandon the vast store of souls that locals still quarry from beneath the stones? Perhaps you might risk a threat of excavation of your own. I might. Well. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Not one of the looming stones is quite square, yet they all slot together immaculately. What were these ruins before their fall? Even their bones are tall and stately as the finest cathedrals of old France. What purpose did they serve in the past, plentiful days when their sun still shone? I mean... 17% chance of success? I think I'll, I think I'll just not. Enjoy the pic picturesque surroundings. How they soar, how tragic, how solemn, like the most rampant visions of Turner. A vision of the heavens. How vast were the beings that resided here? Were they kings? Was this their palace? You sit in the monumental shadow of a stone and watch the stars wheel above. What must they think, those stars, to see such grand ruins become the abode of such tiny, brief things? Hmm. How else might I exploit them? You know, we won't worry about that. I don't think there's any profitable opportunities there for me right now, at least. Perhaps there are, perhaps more things have changed in each of these little sub-ports. But my main point of interest is actually just crossing through to Albion, so let's go and see how that turns out. Still love the design of everything, though. And the writing. Ah. Oh. The writing has always been the strength of this series. Sunless Sea, Sunless Skies, Fallen London. All oh, fantastic writing, and hello, food. Or perhaps not food. We're going to find out if I need that... Wow, you exploded real quick. We're going to find out if I need that equipment in order to get supplies out of them. It seems I did. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Actually, I should be pointing to this instead of this, because this is not the option to gain supplies. Unlocked when you have butchery. Okay, that's fair. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair. It's possibly dying also. A smoke hisses from fractures in its shell. This is a disastrous smell. Listen to its last complaint. Songs are sung in station tea rooms about the dying laments of the ageless cantankery. Here it is apparently good luck. And apparently having good hearts is actually doing pretty good for us. Antenna wiggle resentfully in the wind. Eyes glower from the cavernous shell. The cantankery shudders in deep disappointment before emitting a mournful moreau, then silence. Well, he got his revenge. He managed to do one point of damage to me. How unfortunate. So, onward to the west. To west and wester still. As westward as we can go. I'm sorry, I assumed you were back right. Nope, stop. Nope. There we go. Can I just chain that? I can, sort of. I can do it at least twice. I think until I fill up this first bar. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Not sure. I think it's filling up this first bar that makes me unable to keep spamming it. For the best, I suppose. For the best. Now, what else might we find out here? Old ports, new ports? Not sure. Oh. Something to the north. Hmm. Tell you what. We will explore that if nothing shows up this away. Because I do think I need to get to a port in order to save. 
Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we find and what we don't find and uh, go from there. Man, I really wish I could turn off that light. Is there a way I can do that? I don't think any of these buttons do that. Nope. Although, that's interesting. So we're going to be slotting parts into all of this. And what are you? Hmm. Curious. Wait, I'm affiliated with things now? Oh, I could... Academe? Academy? Hmm. Academia would be what I would usually say, but... Academe can be a... Hello? Could be an obscure way of saying something. Um... Question. What is this? I see frozen... Stairs? Is this part of Port Avon that just broke off or something? I don't... What am I looking at? Are you a discovery or a spectacle? <laughs> Which are you? I don't... Like, going on my map. Yeah, that's apparently nothing. Evidently. Odd. Let's throw the bat out one more time. Is there a port? A new port? Nope, nothing of interest. Okay. So that's just there. Oh, and I think I've earned a level up by now. I have. Scarred, a scandal, a spell in prison, an interlude in red and gold. Hold on to that thought. Because right now I want to see if we can transition into Albion. Or if there's something more we need. You look like a mining opportunity, friend. Ah, uh, you hurt me. You hurt me deeply. <sighs> oh well. All is well, after a fashion, sort of. Almost not really. We're, uh... I mean, we're doing fine in terms of rations. Skies ahead are vacant and dead, you say. Well. Yes, I know that. I thought you were a tutorial message or something. Anyway, going further. This might be a bad idea. The Graveyard of Stars. A waste stretches before you. The star that reigned over it died cold eons ago. Now its domain is empty of life, drowned in darkness, harried by a howling wind. Your crew beg you to turn back. All that waits ahead is a slow shedding of all that you were, then a frozen death. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this might not be a good idea? But this is new, so we're gonna venture in anyway. Just a little way, just enough to say that you have. To be one of those rare, wild few, the crew will undoubtedly resist. You must convince them. This will consume fuel and supplies, and by consume some fuel and supplies, we mean consume all of them. Great. So, this is basically suicide. Going in. And we failed. Despite your exhortations, the crew will not obey. They've heard too many stories of engines dying in the wastes, of the killing fingers of encroaching ice, of crew and captains going mad in the dark. We'd follow you anywhere, Archivist, but not there. But I can try again. And I'm stubborn enough that I will do this as many times as it takes, friend. As many times as it takes. Until we succeed. Eventually, you convince them. Your locomotive nudges forward into the liquid shadows. The wind batters at you. It threatens to pull you deeper. And your chief engineer shovels fuel into the boiler to fight back. A crewman is praying over and over. On the third repeat, he begins to forget the words. A day's hard travel later, you're still only on the outskirts of the waste. You've seen no living thing. The cold of more familiar skies is only a ghost of the cold here. The cold here stills and slays. Your hull groans beneath a new coat of black and ice. Intriguing. Look out into the dark. They say it will send you mad. They say the darkness looks back. They are cowards. Examine the surroundings. Your lights illuminate vast stone fragments, a glitter with frost. Or listen to the wind. What can it tell you? I 
do wonder. Examine the surroundings. Your lights illuminate vast stone fragments that glitter with frost. You have gone where you should not. It's not the date that it was. Oh dear. Are they the frozen gobbets of shattered worlds, ruins abraded beyond recognition by the roaring wind, old idols whose shape would never have been recognizable to you? You spend a single restless night in their shadow. At midnight, one of your crew takes a knife and attempts to murder her bunkmate. When asked why she did so, she has no answer other than, because that is how it is done. You imprison her and give the order to head back. The crew scurry, thankfully, to obey. Hmm. Curious. Well, we must turn back. We have no other choice. You issue the order. Your engine, amidst its skirts of steam, lumber around until the wastes are to the aft. The crew work briskly, and soon you are thundering back into less terrible spaces. In a moment of relief, someone blows the engine's whistle. Return home. And now, unfortunately, this captain, I do believe, is effectively dead. We might... Yeah, we might be pretty much dead. I have one barrel fuel, which I don't think is enough to cross the... Yeah, I don't think we can get all the way back to New Winchester. We can get to this port, and then I think we'll call it there because... Well, I've made choices. Some of them might have been questionable. Although, if we can't just cross between the two realms of Albion and the Reach, how do we make that transition? Oh. The wreck gleams with frost, its windows are dark, its engines silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. Signal the wreck. The windows of the crew quarters are occluded with frost. What was that movement you saw? Oh. Your signaler fetches their signal lamp and flashes a patient message into each port side window. There, a faltering glow burns on the frost. Someone has struck a match. You dispatch a boarding party, they retrieve a survivor who is eager to sign on, and a hard worker, if surly from their long isolation. Hmm. Would have preferred fuel, but I'll take it. Rats Ridge. Ah. I do believe I know where we are. I believe, unless I'm much mistaken, we're at the Hours Mine, whatever the name was. Afraid I don't have much of a name for, well, <laughs> a memory for names. My apologies. Although, hello. This is our last barrel of fuel, Captain, the crewman says. They try to keep their, uh, voice even. The Garden of Insatiable Roses. Oh, you are not what I was expecting. Hello, Carolon. Tell me, do you buy anything? You'll buy supplies and let us get fuel, which might be what we need to do in order to survive. I'm... Hmm. We're going to stop here because I need to know how exactly I get into Albion and uh, need to debate whether this captain is viable to go there. They might be, they might not be. Might have to create a new captain from scratch. But we shall see for now. Thank you for your time. Never the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon.